I love this country. It's the only place I'd want to live. I served in the uh, United States Army. I um, served from 1996 through 2004. Okay, I served from 1959 to 63, the four years in the U.S. Air Force, United States Air Force. I was in the U.S. Navy. I spent more than a year in school in the Navy. I was drafted at 18, and then by the time I was 19, I was in Europe. <laughs> yes, I enlisted. I spent three years. Camp Jaffe, Arkansas. That's in the mountains of Arkansas, near Fort Smith. It was winter time and cold. So one night they woke us up and they said, let's go the lines out between the headquarters and the 82nd Airborne. So we went out and start climbing a pole to repair the lines. And they said, have you seen the Germans? The Germans have broken through and they're starting the Battle of the Bulge. Battle of the Bulge lost seven or 8,000 people at that time. I decided to join uh, after two and a half years of, of college and it was the best decision I've ever made in my life. I uh, grew up and um, was then able to be mature enough to go back to college and do really well. Yeah, well, I, I don't know. I think the kids today, don't, I don't know if they don't study history, but they don't seem to know too much about uh, really what went on after Pearl Harbor. Some of them all even know about Pearl Harbor. They, these leaders had visions that they wanted to conquer the whole world. And we would have been part of that. But uh, luckily, we got involved, the English got involved, the French got involved, and beat the Germans down, you know. We'll always protect our freedom. We better, or we'll lose it. You stand up or lay down. I was a teenager when it happened, and of course, everybody who was uh, old enough uh, went and, re and enlisted. But uh, I was a little bit young then, but eventually got to go. If we had not done that, we would be living in a different country. But the military toughened you up. They break you all the way down and build you back up. And when I was 16, I was graduating from high school. And uh, then I was still a kid, a really spoiled child. So I think that getting in the army made a man out of me. By the time I came out, I was a different person. It influenced my life. It made a man out of me. I was a different person when I came out. Well, I really loved the country. And I, I don't think there's enough patriotism now. Like, I don't know. Like during the uh, Vietnam War, everybody was, the, the veterans that came back from Vietnam they were treated miserably. After World War II, everybody was a hero. Everything changed, it seems like. Nobody was a hero anymore. My greatest memory is when the Marine Corps came in and replaced us. Typically, their soldiers or their Marines are much younger. Um, and it just made me so proud to see what I called kids, young guys, 18, 19, 20 years old, come in and replace us. 
it really made me feel good to know that our country is in really good hands um, with future generations. Uh, the opportunity is out there for you to serve your country and to uh, honor the veterans already served. They appreciate replacements to do carry on uh, what's happened to our freedom that we have, freedom of speech and everything that uh, they provide for us. And, and without them, you know, we wouldn't have that opportunity to serve uh, your families and represent your families in the country too. We've got to protect our country. This young generation will do it. Now, our country has gotten to where it is today because every generation when it called upon has stepped up and defended this great nation. The whole generation was, they said it was the greater generation, I was part of that. The World War II generation has been uh, called the greatest generation. And I like to say that the greatest generation is actually the next generation that's called upon. I know as an American that our next generation that's called upon, whoever that may be, whenever it may be, will, will, will step up and, and answer the call to defend this nation and um, defend the, the values that this, this nation is built upon. Freedom. And human rights. Honor. 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 Duty. 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 Family. 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 Country. 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 On this special day of remembrance, I would like to say thank you to all of our past servicemen for all of your sacrifice and duty um, for the love of your country. Thank you. I just wanted to say thank you for your service. Thank you for serving our country. Uh, I know the sacrifice is growing up a military family uh, and it does not go unnoticed. So thank you for being with us today. Thank you. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your commitment and service. Thank you for your service. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you veterans for your service and for protecting our rights. Thank you veterans for serving our country. Thank you for your sacrifices. Thank you, veterans. Thank, Thank you for your service. service. Thank, Thank you. you. I'd just like to salute my brother, Eric Munch Sanchez, who is going off to Iraq. And uh, keep it safe, and we love our troops. God bless you. Thank you for serving our country. I'd like to say thank you so much for protecting our country and serving. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your sacrifice. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you for protecting, protecting our freedoms. Thank you. 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 I just want to say a big thank you to all our veterans. Um, really just true, sincere, heartfelt thank you. Um, love the safety and protection of just living in America every day. Thanks, guys. Thank you for your service. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your service. Thank you.